But there's a horsey on the beach. I was going to film this next bit next to this picturesque Pleasure Pier sign, but. So there is a link in the description down below if you want to pick up uh, this DJI mic. Obviously, let's get on with the rest of the review with quick fire questions. What's the range? Well, it's. 250 meter, I don't know why I'm yelling, you're right next to me. Is it easy to connect? Yeah, it's straight out of the box. It is easy to reconnect if in the very rare and unlikely situation that you lose connection, just pop everything back in the box and it relinks itself. It is also possible to manually relink. Does the transmitter support standalone recording? Yes, there's a button on the side, you press record and it will record internally to the transmitter and then obviously the receiver's picking it up as well anyway. Does it have inbuilt memory? Yeah, eight gigabytes, which is worth 14 hours of pure recording. Does it use lossless? Yes, when you're recording internally to the uh, transmitter, it records at 24-bit lossless. Can you tell me that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there a safety track? Yes, there is a way of recording a safety track. Um, we'll go into that in a little bit more detail, but what it does is basically records on the left channel. I'll just explain it now. It records on the left channel at the volume you want and also on the right channel at minus six decibels. So if there's anything loud in the vicinity or something happens unexpectedly that's loud, uh, you've still got a chance of saving that audio without it clipping. Is there headphone monitoring? Yes, there is a 3.5 millimeter jack on the side of the receiver. So if somebody stood behind the camera monitoring the audio, uh, like probably hearing those seagulls over there. But yes, there is a 3.5 millimeter jack on the side. Is it waterproof? What? What are you, no, it's not waterproof. What are you planning to do with a microphone underwater? Can you use the Action 2 magnet necklace or lanyard? Yes, 100%, that's what I'm using right now. How long does it take to charge? Well, at one hour and 10 minutes uh, to charge everything 100% from the case. And then the case itself needs two hours and 40 minutes because it acts as a power bank. Are the magnetic clips reusable? It's, it's a magnet. What DJI cameras can I use with this? Pocket 1, Pocket 2 and Action 2. I don't know of anybody that's actually tested it with the Action 1, um, but I think the USB port is too inside the camera for the connection to be made. What's better, on your chest or, or clipped onto your shirt? Well, let's find that out right now. This is on my shirt. And we'll take it, clip it up around my neck. What's that like? So there are a few different modes when using the DJI mic system. First one is mono. When using a single transmitter that will record to both the left and right channels. Equally, if you're using mono safe mode, uh, that will record on one channel, the left side at full volume, and then on the right side at minus six dB. Like again, like we've said before, what that achieves is if there's anything really loud, you can switch to the safer volume and avoid any audio clipping. When using two transmitters in mono mode, what that will do is basically record at the full volume uh, using both transmitters on the left and the right. So there's no way to separate them in post. However, if you're recording in stereo, what that will do is record the left track with transmitter one and the right track with transmitter two. What this can be very good for is if you've got two people talking and there are other uses if you want say stereo surround sound. So obviously we have both transmitters here and we were recording in uh, stereo mode. Just to give you an example, obviously this is the left and this is the right. And obviously this can be used for a number of different scenarios. Uh, if you wanted to uh, record some sort of stereo audio so you have one on e either shoulder and then when you look left you pick up more of it on that side and then when you look right you pick up more of it on that side 
So is there anything that I would improve about the DJI microphone? In terms of convenience, when you're retrieving the files off each transceiver, I'd like to be able to do it from the actual case itself. So you just plug the case straight into the PC and it opens up in File Explorer two different files. Um, the cable that comes with the DJI microphone, very stiff, very stiff. I'd like to be able to have uh, something a bit more bendy. In fact, I actually swapped it out for the one that comes with my uh, Rode Go, whatever it was. And that's, that's it. That's literally my only nitpicks. I'd also like to see though, an accessory come out that punches seagulls in the face. But I'd also like to see an accessory come, that comes out which allows the transmitter to communicate with high-end mirrorless cameras without the need for the 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, obviously we all know it's possible, so get on it, DJI. You know what's really annoying is that since I stopped recording, he's actually shut up. So, do I recommend the DJI microphone beyond the fact that I've got a referral link in the description down below? Yes, yes I do. I would say if you're a YouTuber who has, say, picked up uh, a camera and it's at the top of your budget, but it's not like super massive and you want to up your game still, I would say definitely pick this up. And what I mean by that is that if you have, say, a Sony, even a Sony ZV-1, uh, a Sony ZV-10, but you don't have, say, the money for an A7S III, but like I say, you want to up your production quality. This is absolutely fantastic for that. It gives you these kinds of shots where you can walk to the camera or like when I was down the harbor earlier today, the helicopter going over. That looks to me to be a military craft and the SBS train round here. Plus like the versatility of the fact that this can record from two transceivers to the, you know, the dual channels and then you can separate them in post and there's a lot of features and tricks that you can do with this thing. Podcasts, if you want to record a podcast, you can do it internally to the microphone. If you want to use the microphone, put it on top of a whatever and then go and use it as a microphone, uh, uh, like Comic Con or whatever. This would be able to do that. So for its versatility in only the shots that it can get and how much you could up your production quality just by doing walking talking shots i'd say yeah pick it up i'd also say use my link down below what if i could do i loosen this a little bit see now i can do like panning shots while talking to the camera and then leave the camera and walk away from it and then come back to it because i'm scared it's going to fall over anyway like share and subscribe and i shall see you in the next one